Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, um, I thought I'd do something a little bit different. I don't know if I've seen this um, around on YouTube or not, but I just thought about this the other day. I'm like, there's so much makeup coming out nowadays um, that I feel like people kind of forget like the oldies and the goodies. So I was going through my makeup and I found a bunch of stuff that I actually don't really use anymore. I was kind of like back in the back of my makeup section. I'm like, this stuff's really good. And I feel like no one talks about it anymore. So I got out a bunch of it and I just wanted to share with you the oldies but goodies that I feel like no one talks about anymore. So if you like this topic and you want to see items that I think are oldies but goodies, then go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I broke it up into categories. I have skincare, um, face products, eyeshadows, bronzers, Bl one blush um, and then highlighters so let's go ahead and go into the skincare part of it um, when I first started watching YouTube videos um, I actually found Jaclyn Hill on Pinterest and I watched one of her videos and I was hooked and I just continued for like the next five days just to like vegetate in my room and watch all of her videos I love her I think she is an amazing makeup artist and I've learned so much from her so shout out to you um, but she always talked about Mario Badescu products and I feel like um, I don't really think she talks about it anymore, and I don't really think anyone else does either, because there's so much skincare out there, but, um, I just found one of the products, it's just the, um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and it's, uh, rose water, and this is just really nice to, like, freshen up your makeup, um, maybe if you don't want it to look so powdery, um, just set your makeup with this, or if you want, like, a refresher throughout the day, um, it's just, like, a really refreshing, um, rose water, so, um, just in general, skincare brand that's good and I don't think people really talk about it anymore is Mario Badescu. And then also, um, this Josie Maron 100% Pure Argon Oil. I know when I first started watching videos, so many people raved about this stuff. Um, people still talk about her brand and, like, the her makeup and stuff, but I don't feel like anyone really talks about the Argon Oil anymore. Um, I myself can't use it because it does clog my pores. Um, but I know, like, tons of people use this, um, as, like, with their skincare at night, um, after they, like, moisturize their face or add it in with a moisturizer. Um, I just, my pores get clogged so easily, so I can't use this, but I know a lot of people like it, and I just feel like no one really talks about this oil anymore. So there are so many primers out there that I feel like this one, um, is more of, like, the original one that, um... I don't really think people talk about it anymore. Um, it's just the professional um, by Benefit, and I really like this stuff. Um, it just smooths out my makeup. For me, it does not minimize my pores at all. I do have really large pores, like around my nose and um, right here on my cheeks. Um, it does not minimize my pores, but it does make my makeup go on very, very smoothly, and it makes my face look more fresh. So um, I do like it for that. But yeah, I don't feel like people really talk about this anymore. So. Definitely a good primer. And then for a foundation, this is actually a powder foundation that I used to use when I first got into makeup. It's the Bare Minerals. Um, it's in tan. Uh, <laughs> I know when I started actually doing makeup, um, like in high school, and I always, I thought you needed to get foundation like darker than your face like you wanted to darken your face up. So I always got like a really, really dark shade and I looked ridiculous. But um, yeah, I know... Um, a lot of people, like when I was wearing makeup in high school, use this stuff, like the loose foundation, but um, I honestly don't even know if they sell this anymore, but I know people do not talk about this anymore, and I loved this stuff when I first started wearing makeup. Alright, moving on to an eyeshadow primer. This is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in the original packaging. This is so old. I'm not going to use this. I'm going to just pitch it <laughs> and just get a different one, but... Um, yeah, this one is actually, I think it's gold. It's not like the, yeah, I got off a Hope look, I remember. I was so excited um, to get it as like on a discount. But I feel like no one really talks about this eyeshadow primer anymore. Um, but the gold, not so much. I really didn't like it because you could see it under your eyeshadow if you were wearing like a light eyeshadow. Um, but the original one um, really helped to lock in your eyeshadow. So this is really good stuff. Um, obviously... This isn't what the packaging looks like anymore. I've literally had this for probably like 10 years, but 
Oh, not that long, but anyway. all right, moving on to eyeshadow. I just have a single eyeshadow. This is the L'Oreal Infallible um, in Amber Rush, and it's this really pretty, like, rose gold shade. Um, I'm actually going to swatch it because it's so pretty. Oh, my gosh, look at that. That was one, one swipe. So, so pretty. I love packing this on my eyelid. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so glad I found that. I literally, I think I only used it like twice and then like threw it back in the back of my makeup storage and kind of forgot about it, but I'm so glad I found it because I'm definitely going to be wearing this. Like it is so pretty. Okay. Does everyone remember the Wet n Wild trend? Wet n Wild has really good makeup, but these like, um, little makeup or little eyeshadow palettes with the eight colors. This one is Comfort Zone. I know they had one that was called, I think it was called like Eggshell or something. Like these were so, so popular because they're really, really good. Um, the pigment is really good. And you can do two different looks. You can do one that's more of like a neutral and then this is like a darker with like greens. And yeah, like no one talks about these like little palettes anymore, but they're so good. So good. Oh, right. And this brand, I feel like no one like mentions anymore and it is a really good brand um it's the balm cosmetics and this is my first um eyeshadow palette from them i also got this off of hot look i was like addicted to getting makeup off of hot look for a while this is just the nude tude palette <sighs> this is gonna make me really dark it just has um a bunch of like um some browns and then some more like smoky shades but i loved this eyeshadow palette um just when I like first started makeup but yeah the bombs are really good brand and like no one talks about them anymore so yeah I really like that and then for another makeup palette this is um just a z palette I made myself but um makeup geek eyeshadows like so many people raved about these and um I started liking them because of Jaclyn Hill um the Pigments are so, so good in these. I love this. I use this a lot, actually, if I just want, like, um, just, like, neutral shades, just, like, a little bit of color on my eyeshadow, or on my eyelids. Um, I'm actually wearing some of the browns and the orange today in my eye, my, on my eyes. I'm actually wearing, um, some of the browns and the orange on my eyes today. Um, I just love, I love her eyeshadows, and I need to order some more because I've had these for a long time, and I just kind of... I just forgot about them and I'm so glad that I remembered I had this palette. <laughs> so Makeup Geek eyeshadows and they're so cheap. They're like, I think they're like $5 for a little one like this and they're magnetic so you just get yourself a Z palette and pop these babies in here and make your own eyeshadow palette. Alright moving on to bronzers and um, like contour kits. I have two contour kits. Um, these are like the first ones that ever came out. Um, these are only like a few years old, but, um, whenever like contouring was like so, so popular, and I shouldn't say that, after contouring was, um, just starting to like come out, I get, I feel like, um, they started making contour kits. So the first one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Um, they have a powder one, which that's what this one is. And then they have like cream contour and they have um, for different skin tones. I just have the original one, <laughs> Sculpt and Define. I guess it's not a color. I know they make two other ones that are like light skin and medium skin tones. Um, but this was like the very first one made and um, yeah, I really didn't use too much of it, but I really liked the, um, this is the one I used to contour, and then I would use, um, these two. This is, like, a pale shade, and then this is the, like, yellow, like, banana color, um, to, like, set under my eyes to, like, highlight a little bit, but this is such a cute little contour kit, and I need to bust this baby out again. And then the, um, Kat Von D, the shade in light, I know she has a bunch of different ones of this, but this was the original one. I really didn't use too much of it um the middle this middle brown is the one that I used to contour and then um same as the Anastasia one I used this um pale shade and then the banana shade to set under my eyes and just to highlight a little bit but um these were like my two favorite contour kits and I don't use them anymore and I really want to start using them again because they're really good all right moving on to bronzers um, just single bronzers. The first one is the infamous Hula Bronzer from Benefit. Um, they still make this. They have, 
you can get in like a mini size it's so so cute um <clears throat> but I have had this for a very long time my best friend actually got me this um it was in like a little kit um for I don't know if it's for my birthday or for Christmas, but she got it for me, and um, I remember that this is like my first like high-end beauty product that I ever had, and I still have it. Um, but it's just a really, really like perfect shade bronzer for <clears throat> a lot of skin tones. Um, yeah, I've hit pan. It's gross. I shouldn't even be using it because <laughs> it's really old. Um, it's probably like eight years old to be quite honest but I love that it comes with a little brush it still does um this is don't throw this out if you get this bronzer I think it comes in the blushes too don't throw these out because they're really nice to contour with um it's kind of like a mini like um NARS Eda brush but it's free it comes with the product so don't throw these out I learned that from um SML XO I keep hearing things um, yeah, I learned that from her. She's like, don't throw these out. These are actually really good brushes and you can use these, um, to contour with. And I was like, duh. So keep these babies. But anyway, staple oldie but goodie is the Hula Bronzer. And then the Tarte, um, let's see. This one's in Park Avenue Princess. It's the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. I think they have them in different shades. But just like this packaging, like I got one of these like eight years ago too. They still make it, um, but like no one talks about it anymore. And it's really, I need a new one. Um, it's a really, really good bronzer. It's not matte. It does have a little bit of a shimmer to it, but um, it is really pretty. And it's um, a little bit darker. It's more bronzier than the Hula bronzer. Um, so I like using this just to make my face kind of glow with my bronzer, but um, really, really good bronzer. And then for a Too Faced bronzer, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I got this in the medium deep matte bronze. Um, yeah, like Chocolate Soleil. Like, I don't feel like people talk about this anymore. And obviously it smells like chocolate, so duh, you have to get it. It smells so good. Um, but I like using this when I'm a little bit darker because I feel like it makes my skin look a little bit um, muddy when I wear it when I'm, like, a little bit lighter, like now. Um... But yeah, like, it's a really, really good bronzer, and I really like using it in the summertime, like I said, when I'm um, a little bit darker, but um, really, really good bronzer. And then I could only find one blush that I thought, I don't really collect blushes, I collect, like, bronzers and eyeshadows and stuff like that. Bronzers, I already said that. <laughs> Highlighters is what it meant to say. Um, not really blushes, but... This one's a really good one. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso. Um, this was super, super popular from the drugstore. It's just a really pretty peach bronzer, peach um, pinky orangey shade. It has some shimmer in it. It looks like um, kind of like gold flecks in there, not like big flecks, just like um, just a little bit of shimmer. It's really, really pretty. Um, when I'm darker, it really doesn't show up on my skin. So I like to use it when I'm a little bit more fair, like in the winter time. Um, but really, really good bronzer for the price. It's obviously drugstore, so, um, and I know they do still make this. So if you want to pick this baby up from the drugstore. Then moving on to highlighters. Um, a liquid highlighter is this high beam from Benefit. I know so many people know about this. They still make this. They still put it in their little kits. But I don't feel like people talk about it. Um, I'm not a big fan of liquid highlighters, but this is a very, very pretty highlighter um, if you're looking for a liquid one. But I actually, I think I got this in a set with that Hula bronzer from my friend. I, I'm pretty sure this was in there because this was the first highlighter I had ever used and actually didn't even know like what a highlighter was. I thought this actually was a nail polish to be quite honest. Um, but yeah. <laughs> So if you're looking for a good liquid um, highlighter that's an oldie, oldie but a goodie, check out the Benefit High Beam. All right, and then two highlighters. These are from the Balm as well. The Mary Luminizer and the Cindy Luminizer. These are I love their packaging. I think that they're so cute. Um, but let me swatch these because these are like in-your-face blinding. And literally, I don't remember the last time I heard someone talk about these. But they're like amazing highlighters so this is the Mary Luminizer um, it's more of a 
um, like champagne kind of highlight. Um, I have it beside the, uh, that eyeshadow. So very, very pretty, very inexpensive. Um, I know you can get this off of Hot Look because that's where I got mine. Um, but yeah, really inexpensive. It's like a drugstore, um, pricing. So check that one out. And then the Cindy Luminizer, I believe is more of like a, um, kind of like a pink highlighter, pinky highlighter. I think this is the one I broke. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't break it. It came broke. I was very upset. Um, so I can't, there you can kind of see. Yeah. It's more of like a pink, pinky highlighter. Let me swatch it here. They're very powdery. I don't remember them being that powdery, but, um, I don't know if you can see it. it's over here. Um, but very, very pretty again, inexpensive and they're just really cute. So yeah, I like, I don't think anyone talks about those anymore. Okay. So for another one, this isn't that old, but, um, it's a very nice bra or highlighter that not many people talk about is the Laura Geller, um, Gilded Honey. It's the Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminizer. Um, and Gilded Honey is the name of it. This, I literally wore this for like a year straight because it's just like, it's perfect with my skin tone. It's so bronzy and gold and so, so pretty. All oh, right, there it is right there. It's just so, so pretty. Um, and yeah, this isn't, it really isn't that old, but I just feel like everybody was talking about this when it came out and then everybody stopped talking about it, but I still love it. I use it. I hit pan. I love it. Okay. This one was majorly raved about because you could get it at Walmart and it's like $5. Was it five? It might be 10. It might be $10. I honestly can't remember. I know they do still make it because I went to Walmart the other day to look and they do still make it. Um, it's the hard candy. Um, baked bronzer in Tiki. It says it's a baked bronzer, but it's a highlighter. It This will not be a bronzer on anybody. It's so, so pretty. It's just like a champagne color. Um, well, this one's a little rough. It's old. <laughs> I remember Jacqueline Hill talking about it. Oh, it's, I don't know if you can see. It's right there on my thumb. Um, but super pretty. It's very, very cheap and it's a large pan that you can just go to your drugstore and buy at any time. So if you're on a budget, definitely pick this up because it's really, really good. All right, we're down to the last two items. Um, these are from Mac. They're the mineralized skin finishes and this one's soft and gentle. And this one is fairly precious. So this one's more of like a, um, Oh, it's going everywhere. I'm going to have highlighter all over me. Um, more of like a champagne-y shade. This one's more of like a peachy highlighter. Um, they're both so, so pretty. Um, this one wasn't talked about that much, the Fairly Precious, but the Soft and Gentle, so many people raved about this stuff, and it is very, very good. Um, and yeah, I just, I really don't hear anyone talking about it anymore, so... Yeah, so that is it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. I really like talking about this stuff. I think it is so neat to like look back at stuff that when I first got into makeup, I loved. And maybe people don't talk about it anymore, but I still have it and I'm still going to use it because I love the products. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, please subscribe down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you have any video um, suggestions, please just leave them down below. Leave me a comment, um, anything, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Tip tongue, got, got your left cheek showing, showing mama. Tip, huh? Bring that body in my way. my way. Can't take it off my bread. Look like you do, baby. Oh. Hold tight when you tip, tip.